This video explains how to perform a mid-span access of the fibers used in the FP400 sensor cable. The video is divided into the following sections. Overview, before you start, prepare cable, remove outer jacket, remove inner jacket, splice and secure fibers. To reduce the number of fiber splices required at the start and end of each FP400 detection zone, a mid-span access technique may be used. Using this technique, a segment of cable jacket is removed, exposing the individual fibers. Only the fibers required for the particular connection are spliced. The remaining fibers are left intact, reducing the potential for poor splice connections as well as simplifying the management of the splices within the splice trays. Use care when working with exposed optical fibers. The bare fibers can easily penetrate skin. Always wear safety glasses when working with optical fibers. Always dispose of bare fibers in a container designed for fiber optic waste. Never dispose of bare fibers in a standard waste receptacle. To perform the procedure in this video, you will require two all-purpose clamps, a tape measure, a cable slitter tool, an inner tube cutting tool, a side cutter, delicate task wipes, a work table, and a marker. Review the product documentation to avoid potential issues when performing a mid-span access. Mark the center point on the cable where the splices will be made. Use clamps to secure the sensor cable to a table. Mark the cable 39.25 centimeters from each side of the center point, 78.5 centimeters in total. On the top and bottom of the cable, draw two parallel cut lines along the marked cable segment. Set the mid-span access tool to make longitudinal cuts. Ensure that the tool is calibrated to cut only the outer jacket while leaving the inner tube intact. Remove one of the cable clamps and make a slit along the length of the jacket following the marked line. Make a second slit on the other side of the cable. Make a radial cut at both ends of the marked cable. During the radial cut, you will sever both strength members. Be careful not to damage the fibers inside the inner tube. Carefully remove the outer jacket. Using the fiber cutting tool, remove the inner tube. Leave 6 mm of exposed tube at each end. Carefully clean the exposed fibers. Now that the fibers are exposed, you can fusion splice the required start modules, end modules, and SC slash APC connectors. See the FP400 installation video for detailed information. Once the necessary fusion splices are made, secure the fibers in the splice tray, as shown in the FP400 installation video. For additional information on the FP400 fiber optic intrusion detection system, see other videos in this series.